Oh. Hello. I have a package here. I removed, I removed the address labels. I got this package from Clayton Hollingsworth. I'm pretty certain that's, his that's the way he pronounced his last name. We traded some peppers. Oh, hey, baby. His was, his was supposed to be delivered Monday. They came today. Mine were supposed to be delivered today. Now it says Monday. Hey, baby. Got a kitty cat here wanting some pettings. So I'm going to open this up and see what all pods he sent me. So thank you, thank you again, Clayton, for sending me these pods. Hopefully yours make it and they're in good shape. If they don't, well, that's why I threw in the seed. Was so you could still get some seed off of it, even if the pods weren't any good. So here we go. Let's see if I can show you. Hopefully I'm getting that really good. So there's a whole bunch of pods in here. And he's got me a list here. I hope these pods find you well. Enjoy and thank you. Jesus is Lord. Clayton, thank you. And he's got a pod list here. Of a bunch of things I've never heard of. So... Let's see, what have I heard on here? Chocolate primatale and mustard. I've heard of that. Um, chocolate primo. The RB003. I've heard of that. The Orion. Chocolate Reaper. I've not heard of the Purple Peach Reaper. Or the Reaper of Death. Um, so I'm just going to read these off. There's tw 25 on here. So the first one looks like it says Remert. Second one is Hellboy. The third one is Mustard Primatale. Fourth one's Chocolate Primatale. Fifth one is Brain Strain Long. Sixth one is Yellow Slash Orange Primo. Seventh is Primo XL. Eighth is Chocolate Primo. Nine is WHP-66. Ten is Seven Pot Cinder. Eleven is Moruga Red Monster. Twelve is the RB-00 Furry. Or RB-00 Furry. I'm not sure what the... I'm not sure if it's O's or Zeros. Um, Thirteenth is Orion. I've heard of that pepper. The uh, 14th is Bigfoot. I've not heard of that pepper, but it sounds like a very fun pepper. And then, let's see. So the 15th is Seven Pot W A L. 16th is Bismarck Chocolate. The 17th is Chocolate Reaper. I've grown Chocolate Reapers before. Um... 18th is Reaper Purple Peach. I've not grown a Purple Peach. I've grown the Purple Reaper, and I, I love the plant, so I'm interested in that. Um, the 19th is Reaper. The 20th is Reaper of Death Peach. Uh, 21 is Beast Caramel. 22 is Bootla X Reaper, so that's a cross. 23 is the Tiberius Smaller Caramel. The 24th is BTR, which is, let me see, Butch T. But what's the R? I thought it was Butch T Scorpion, but that'd be BTS. So I'm not sure what the R is. And then that's, that's X, the N, so that's a cross. And then the 25th is Bismarck Red. So... Hopefully you can see that really good. Um, 
let's actually start pulling the pods out to look at them. And I'll go on ahead and let you know, Clayton, I didn't send as many pods as you did. <laughs> um, I, I filled it up pretty good. I left you a little gift on one side. And then I put you some seed on the top, just in case the delay happened, which did happen. Because I knew they didn't run, they don't run Sunday, so, you know, they, they rest. So let's see. And I didn't label them, but you only wanted two things. I only sent you three things, and I told you what I sent you in the messages, so. Let's see. So number two is a Hellboy. So this is a Hellboy. Pretty nice looking chocolate pepper. It's nice and wrinkled. Hey girl. You wanna smell the pepper? Probably not. You wanna smell that? What you think of that? Does not care. Alright. Number three is a mustard primatale. I am very excited about getting some primatales. I've, I've heard how hot they are, so I'm, I'm happy to get some. Um, and of course, my main, my main thing is uh, getting seed and growing them. Uh, I love growing peppers as this cat destroys this box next to me ah here's number one so number one is the Rimmert nice looking pod hopefully you can make that out pretty good Now then, number four here, so this is a chocolate primatale. Now I've heard these things are hot. Um, these things have a mean reputation for being hot, and I'm not going to lie, I don't have the biggest tolerance. Um, I like hot stuff, but if, if I was to take a sliver of a purple reaper and a, a normal reaper, I probably couldn't tell the difference. That's how where my tolerance is at. It'd probably just be heat. I probably couldn't taste flavor on those particular pods because of how hot they are. So number five is brain strain long. So that's a pretty pod. And a lot of this is new to me, which is very fun, because it means it's new stuff to grow. <laughs> Let's see if we can find number seven. Nope, I don't see number seven. But that's okay, because we can always jump back to it later. Oh, here it is. Okay, here's number seven, which is a Primo XL. It, you know, it kind of reminds me of them dragon breaths that I grow. A couple of them have this shape to them, and then so, a lot of them have, still have the tail. And then some of them have a funny bottom, but uh, whenever I say they look familiar, it's in the the, the color mainly. Um, the purple reapers look, have a different shade to them than the dragon's breath do, and this kind of looks like that dragon's breath shade to me. So let's see what's next. Number eight. 
if we can find it. Alright, number eight here is a chocolate primo. So that so number seven was a Primo XL. And number eight's a chocolate primo, right? So as you can see, he still has his tail. He kinda he has where his tail was. So it's it's interesting to see how they change. But this here is a chocolate primo. Number nine is the WHP, or I'm assuming they just say uh, whip dash 66, and that's a very beautiful pepper. Um, the coloring on this kind of does remind me of a purple reaper, which excites me because it makes me think that maybe the plant has dark foliage. Um, I just I like the dark foliage. I think it's a good ornamental as well as obviously having something nice on it if you like hot stuff and if you don't then it's ornamental because it's dark purple and then you know if you're growing something that ripens to red then it's going to be red pods sticking out on a dark purple plant but that was the WHP-66 and then let's see if we can find number nine. Well, that was number nine. So here is the yellow slash orange primo number six. Because if you notice, well, wait, wait here we go. If you notice. He put a, um, he put a line under the six on that one, and he put it over the, so this is number six, this is number nine. So number six is a yellow slash orange primo, and I can see it. It's, you know, kind of yellowish orange. It has a little stink, little start of a stinger, but not, not much going on there. Let's see. Number ten, seven pot cinder. This is a very pretty pepper, um, as you can see. I like to look at this look of this pepper. Um, it has a little bit of a shininess to it at, at the bottom half, and I, I like the color of it. It's a very nice color. Uh, let's see, number eleven, the Morga Red Monster. And I, I think they named it pretty well. If you want to look at the look at the size of it, that's a pretty big pepper. So I, I think they named it well. Now then, number twelve. If we can find number twelve, right here it is. So this is a RB 0 furry. And it's got that shape that they have. Um, that's a beautiful pepper. Let's see. Number 13, the Orion. So here's the Orion. and Wow. It's, well, it's got the, the spider webs like mine do. <laughs> Uh, them spiders, they love the peppers. But it's got this, this beautiful red on the bottom, the purple on the top. So I wonder if this, I wonder if this plant has dark foliage. Uh, that's got me pretty excited. 
and then number 14 is Bigfoot and it's a pretty big pepper that's a pretty big pepper so number 15 let's see if we can find it right here it is the seven pot w a l number 15 there's another well there's a, there's another spider web hanging out on that so if you see it that's what it is on this side here Let's see, number 16, right here, yeah, this is number 16, is a Bismarck chocolate, uh, pretty nice looking pod to me, I think it looks pretty nice, uh, hopefully I'm showing these to you. I'm trying to. So number 17 is a chocolate reaper. Um, so there it is. Number 18. Let's see if we can find number 18. Here's number 18, and number 18 is put down as Reaper Purple Peach. And it is a very interesting color. Um, that's a very interesting color. So I wonder if it's got Purple Reaper in the genetics because of the name. Uh, sometimes I get pods and I can shake them and I can hear... I can't hear it in this one, but sometimes with the super hots I pull. I can shake them and I can hear liquid in them moving around. Um, some of the people on the pepper lovers community told me it wasn't capsaicin, it was more than likely pre-capsaicin. And I believe that the reason, and I come to this conclusion a while after, but I believe maybe the reason why the pepper makes pre-capsaicin and it's just furry in the pod is to keep the seeds dormant because sometimes you'll have um, multiple pods so you'll have a pod like say this pepper here this is a reaper and you cut it open and then there's another pod inside forming so I'm wondering if all that extra uh, pre-cap that they form is to keep the seeds dormant kind of like how tomatoes do gel to keep the seeds dormant because some of the peppers that I that I get the multiple peppers on, uh, they don't they don't make any pre cap. They don't make any pre cap in the actual pepper pod. So I've I've been spending most of the and it might get loud. There's a car. I've been spending most of the weekend deseeding peppers to collect seed so that I can uh, use them to trade and to give away. And the Black Ghost typically does not have any of the pre-capsaicin inside the pod. So, if, you know, if I cut them up and turn them over, nothing drips out of them. And I had one of those that had the second pepper forming inside the pepper. Whereas the Dragon's Breath, they do the pre-cap, the Purple Reapers, and I've never had one of them grow a second pepper inside of a pepper. So I'm wondering if, if, the, if that oil, if that's why that oil is there, not necessarily 
for heat, but but just enough um, of the oil that it needs to keep the seeds dormant. But I, I don't know. That's just me rambling. Uh, this is a Reaper number 19. Looks nice. You know, I like Reapers. I like using them and stuff. And then number 20. So here's number 20. Uh, this is the Reaper of Death Peach. <laughs> As if the Reaper wasn't spooky enough. But that's a beautiful pod. Um, absolutely beautiful. And it reminds me of the Purple Peach Reaper. The colors are similar. But if you look, the, the textures are completely different. The shape's completely different. It's just they got a similar, <laughs> a similar color. So that's interesting. So let's see. What's next? Twenty-one. The Beast Caramel. Look at that. Ain't that a beauty? It's kind of got a dark and then a light, dark, light, and it's it's got a pretty shape as well. So let's see, 22 is a Bootla X Reaper. So this, this is going to be pretty hot. So there's what it looks like. pretty pod. It's got a uniform color. And then number 23 is a Tiberius Smaller Caramel. And it's it's got a very unique color. Very unique color on it. I can see when they call it a caramel. And number 24 is a BTR X the end. So here's what that looks like. Um, and the R could mean Reaper, so maybe Butch T Reaper, I'm not really sure. But it's beautiful. Um, it's got a tail, the way it comes out. It's a very beautiful pepper. And then the last pepper on the list is the Bismarck Red. And boy, this thing's just gorgeous. Look at that. That's just a gorgeous pepper there. It's a very pretty pepper. It's got a very nice stinger. Absolutely beautiful. So, with that, I thank you for watching. I thank Clayton again for sending these beautiful peppers, uh, most of which I don't have. So I'm going to very much enjoy collecting the seed out of those to grow. And I didn't get a vicious pepper. Um, I'll have to let him know. He's only got the Vicious Red. Um, my buddy, uh, William Beckham, uh, Bill, everybody called him Bill, um, he made the Vicious Pepper. That was what he was working on when he passed away from COVID. It's been a couple of years. And his wife gave... I don't know who, but somebody in the PLC, Pepper Lovers community, the seed for his vicious pepper that he'd been working on. Uh, he had several different colors of it. Red was one. Yellow was one. Um, he showed pictures of a peach, which I, I thought was orange, but he said it was peach. I went back and looked at what posts had, hadn't been deleted, because it's, it's been years. 
and he, he teased a purple pod, but I don't know if anybody ever got that, but he was a, a friend to me, uh, I miss him, and I would like to basically keep his legacy going, which is that pepper he was working on. So I'm hoping to get seed of all the variations and keep them going. And his wife wanted wanted them to be given away, not sold. And so that's a big thing that I see a lot of. Uh, Matthew Offer, Offer has changed the game a little bit with his Warthog, if you follow that. Because he says, oh, if you want to use it, like selling it, I want you to donate. And since that's got some larger... Uh, people online involved in it he's actually getting that response so like Jimmy Pickles is donating um, I don't know if anybody else has the warthog seeds um, I just sent a self-addressed stamped envelope to my, Matthew myself I mean but uh, it is surprising how many times sellers just don't care so, for a great example, uh, Kangstar, he's a very large YouTuber, pepper grower, pepper maker, formed a PLC. He wanted his Lemon Starburst to be, well, here you go. He wanted it to be um, given away, not sold. Well, there's a lot of places now that sell lemon starburst some even go as far as to remove ks off of the lemon starburst which is kang's initials that, that would be like selling the ema war tricks but taking the ma off of it and then not mentioning who made it i mean so there's a lot of people that disrespect that more than you think they would so i'm, I'm hoping that we can keep it true to what his wife wanted for that pepper you know we can keep the the WB on that vicious pepper for William Beckham because he he made it and keep it where it's not being sold it's being given away in honor his memory instead of just making a quick buck off of his memory but that's just me and my rants so thanks for watching if you are still watching I'm gonna cut off my camera now and enjoy the weekend of these seeding peppers.